What's up everyone and welcome back. Hope everyone had a great week, and if not, I hope your next one is better. This is a continuation of last week's video where we discussed what your views will look like when using the lenses that come with your telescope. And if you missed that video, click up here. Today we're going to see what kind of imaging you can expect when using an astronomy camera. We are here back at www.telescope.com. All right, now let's take a look at the camera that I have. We're gonna go to astrophotography, cameras, and the one that I have is the Orion Starshoot all-in-one astrophotography camera. As you can see, the price is $314.99. It's kind of a mid-range camera. As you can see, they start at around $99. $53, $269, all the way up to $1,044. I would really love to get my hands on this camera. All right, so if we go to the Starshoot camera, it has a decent user rating from 20 users. We'll go ahead and get a look at everything that it comes with. Everything is neatly packed when you receive it in the included tin. The bracket that you see here is for using the camera as an auto guide, has the included lens, the actual camera, the USB cable, and the auto guider cable. And if you look below, you can see all the detailed information on the camera itself. Here are all the specs if you wish to look at them. I'm going to show you the difference between inserting an eyepiece and inserting the camera. Here you have a standard eyepiece, 20 millimeters. This is the one that comes with the telescope. And after you insert it, you just tighten the bolts keep it in place. And that's it. And here is the astrophotography camera. There's a look at the sensor inside right there. You simply insert it exactly where you would put the lens and tight the bolts to keep it in place. One thing you need to keep in mind is that this camera will be connected via USB cable to your laptop. You'll most likely be using a laptop because it's portable and you'll have to take it outside with you. Everything you see will be on the laptop screen. I will be making a video in the future that discusses how you make images from these recordings. The first set of videos that I'm going to show you is of the 100 millimeter viewing Jupiter.
The next set of videos will be the 127mm viewing Jupiter and Saturn. I know some of you may be wondering why this camera makes everything look so much bigger as opposed to using an eyepiece. Let me explain. As you can see on the camera, there is a small rectangular sensor chip in the middle. This is where all the recording takes place. When looking through an eyepiece, you can see the entire view. But when the camera is inserted, all you see is what's in the very center where the sensor is. Since most of the view is cropped, Everything you see with this camera is going to appear a lot closer. I hope I was able to give a good explanation of what it's like using an astrophotography camera. In the next video, I will show you how to make images using Registax from the videos that you're able to record with this camera. Until next time, clear skies everyone.